zip code shopping with the Katie sisters. Hello, dot 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 location. Hello friends, we're in sunny Phoenix, Arizona, one of the hottest markets in multifamily apartments, literally and figuratively. Today, Nan and I are touring a property listed with a broker we're super familiar with. Let's get on the tour. Okay, walking to unit number two. Oh my God, it's gorgeous here and it's such a nice weather here. You wouldn't believe it. It's just like, you know, cause in summer it's like hundreds of degrees, but okay, here it's not that bad right now in the winter, so. car parking right so this is a good way to actually increase the NOI because everybody would pay for cover parking or even like reserve spot everybody wants convenience right especially when you're buying in a newer asset class your tenant profile they can afford you know like reserve parking and cover parking Let me give you a little rundown of the property. This is a 408 unit property in Avondale, Arizona, which is on the west side of downtown Phoenix. It has garden style construction with a 903 square foot average per unit. It consists of one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedroom floor plan. What's attractive to us about this property is its debt. The property has an assumable fixed debt at 3.97%, full term interest only, and has 8.5 years remaining on the loan term. This luxurious A-class apartment is situated in one of the most coveted retail and dining area of Avondale. The property's close proximity to the freeway is a major plus, which provides access to the Southwest Industrial and Loop 303 corridors. So this is a comp property that we're driving right now. Our subject property definitely feels like it's in a better area. When we're looking at these properties, the first thing we look at is as we're driving up, how does it feel? Does it feel luxurious? Because we're buying class A apartments, class A B apartments in class A neighborhoods. So we wanna make sure that the area feels thriving. And so you can see here that in this, for me, like my impression of this comp is that the neighborhood isn't as strong. There's a substation for like electrical power plant across the street which doesn't give it a good vibe the lot next door is vacant and overall it just feels a little bit dingier um while it is close by it is on the same street i think our property definitely have a luxurious feel that this one doesn't have property tour but guess what we also need to eat <laughs> so well you know what and that's the secret ninja tips actually because you want to be like hey what are the retail stores around here right if you see like chick-fil-a biology here that's where we're going panera panera Pat. bread like starbucks Wobble grill everything like that Lace like pizza and an, an area that you feel actually comfortable to walk in right paul but more than that it just speaks to the affluent nature of the demographic of the people that will be renting your apartment are we now full a little bit so where are we going now are we going to walk into the comp property that's what we're doing okay guys follow us so did we win the deal in the end we ended up making an offer on the property and made it to best and final However, we couldn't push our purchase price to the whisper price of $104 million. We stuck to our guns and offered $98 million. Needless to say, we didn't win, but felt satisfied that we made our best effort on the deal. There's no victory in winning a deal that will be financially risky to our investors. So we move on and say next to our new opportunity. Mm -hmm. 